So imagine you have a very important photo shoot to do or a video or something extremely, extremely important. And imagine that you are faced with a situation where the background, the only set, the only scene that you have available to you is red, is, is really, really red. It happens, it, it happens a lot that um, you're, you're, sometimes you're put in situations as a photographer that you just can't control the environment. And right now I'm in my backyard, I've got this deck with that's painted red. And we're gonna repaint it one day, but right now it is red, very, very red. So the red color casts on everything. There are times throughout the day where the kitchen, which overlooks the deck, is red because the light is bouncing off the red deck and then going through the window and just making everything red, right? Now red also does a few other things. It also makes everything hotter than normal. And it's so sunny out right now, it's, it's actually just about 11 a.m. in the morning, so the sun is almost all the way up, you know, like right at really high and one more hour and it'll just be unbearable. But it's so sunny that, you know, my top of my head is gonna be all washed out and shiny and, and it's gonna cause you to sweat and squint. You can, you can probably see I'm squinting a little bit, um, which I have blue eyes, so that makes it even more difficult. But I wanna focus on the red aspect, the actual color red. Now, how do you, as a photographer, deal with such situations? I know, unfortunately, a lot of photographers will actually photograph on auto white balance. Most cameras do a pretty good job at getting rid of the color cast. They will actually white balance nicely, but it will be either on the cooler side or the warmer side. So the way that I recommend you solve this problem is by using a color balancing tool. And the one that I recommend is this one. This is the Color Checker Passport. It is from X-Rite and it is a solid piece of plastic on the outside for durability and it is just full of colors and, you know, and great grayscales and, and whatnot that you basically photograph this and then either from the, the software that came with this or within Lightroom using the Lightroom plugin they have, you will then calibrate the photo to this color checker. Now the advantage of this is that you now have a color that is absolutely true. And you can white balance in your software, in Lightroom, in Photoshop, whatever, to the specific exact precise color because the colors on this don't change. You, when you calibrate to what the color checker gives you, you then have the ability to ensure accurate color. You also want to make sure that your you know, monitor is calibrated, and I use the color monkey for that, but all in all, it starts with in-camera, and when you have to deal with things like red fences and red walls and colors that are just so vibrant, and especially on sunny days that actually cast those colors onto you and your subject, you need to find ways to correct for it. And that is why I recommend the Color Checker Passport. It is so diverse, so useful, that not only could you do it outside, but you can also do it inside in the studio. Now it's true, your models might look a little silly when they're holding it, that's something that people always talk about, but so what? So what, your models look silly for a little bit. It's ensuring accurate color, so just deal with it. Use a color checker. I don't care if you use it from Color Checker, from X-Rite, uh, or if you use another brand, it doesn't matter. Use one. But the advantage with the Color Checker Passport is the software it comes with that pretty much automates and guarantees precise color. So, that's a win-win. <laughs>